Let's rerun the simulation by using correct reference values. Open Fluent from Solution and change the reference values. For our area, we have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 sides of blades of 2 centimeters. So that means 12 centimeters squared. So in meters squared, that means 0 0.000, oops, 0 0.0012. The length is going to be 0.02, 2 centimeters, it's the chord distance, and our velocity needs to be changed to 10, i.e. the incoming velocity. Okay, and we can now rerun the calculation. We don't need to run for that much, that many times times, let's use half of it. It is important to notice that we shouldn't take this moment monitor for granted because it, uh, it accounts for the pressure and the viscous forces on the blades. Since we don't have a very fine mesh on the blade, right above the blade, our, our results for drag are not going to be that precise. So this is just to illustrate a little bit in order to get a better prediction of the moment monitor, one should inflate the mesh around the airfoils to get a finer mesh around them. Since we considerably reduce the reference value for area, we can see that our moment monitor got peak much at much higher value than before. Before it was around 0.05. Note that we got ex the exact same shape as before, except just scaled up. And also remember that this is not precise, so we need to inflate the mesh around the blades to make sure we get a more precise moment monitor. This oscillation is due to the relative position of the airfoil related to the incoming wind. So we can, the forces acting on the airfoil are drag and lift, and those forces will generate a moment that is indirect what is being measured here. So depending on the position of the airfoil related to the incoming wind, the lift and the drag will generate a positive moment or a negative one. 